tonight we're going to have chicken cacciatore for dinner. Uh, it's a very simple dish. Uh, chicken cacciatore actually means the hunter's meal. Take that flour. Make sure there's no chunky bits. So we'll sift it, add some flavour to the flour. A good dash of salt. Say one, two, six. Flouring the chicken is two things. Uh, it seals in the, the juice and flavours of the chicken when you're cooking it. It'll thicken up our sauce a little bit later. So it's just basically pop it in, both sides, shake off the extra bits and lay it on the board. See that lovely golden brown? That's the texture that you, you want. You, um, you basically don't want it to be... You don't want to be squishing it around when you put it in, otherwise the flour is just going to you know, go all bloody. Um, so you pretty much want it like that. And you're keeping all the lovely juices in. Get rid of all that crap. And that is what I'm going to use. That's what I'm going to use to add to flavour and enhance my, my cacciatore dish. And remember, you're only, you're only um, browning the chicken. You're not cooking it through. Because that's going to cook nicely in the um, in the sauce that we're going to make later on. Okay, so beautiful. Look at that. To overcook the garlic, probably about 30 seconds. Is, that's all you need. 30 seconds for the garlic, and that will that will get that sweet, um, I guess, pungent taste that we all love. You know, I love garlic. It's it's good for you. So. Uh, when you chop the garlic up uh, for this dish, you don't have to be so uh, prissy about it. You don't have to crush it. You just just um, be liberal. Like there's nothing like fried garlic, I tell ya, and fried onion. Just amazing. Roma tomatoes, which is a, which I've already processed prior to all of this. Pour it in. Is that a good mix? Because once this is all um, stewing nicely, the uh, all the sauce and the meat, we're going to uh, while that's cooking, we're going to start preparing, finishing off our dessert. Okay. I'm going to make the classic berry forest fruit tart. And my helpers here are Jack, Anthony, and Lily, and Lily, and Lily. Now the first thing that we have to do is make the pastry because this is, this is done in three stages. The first stage is the pastry, the second stage is the berry cream, and the third stage is adding our lovely fruits. The first thing that we need is to cut this butter up, and we're going to blend this so that it's nice and smooth. Push right down. Oh, good boy. Lick your fingers, lick your fingers. Afterwards, lick your fingers and daddy's turn. Alright, so we're going to put that in there. Now what we're going to do is we're going to make a sweet pastry. And we're going to need about one and a half cups of milk. Uh, we extra. One egg each. One egg, there's another one here. Okay, we're going to put it in the red bowl. So, let me help you crack it. Oh, oh there we go Jack, yay! in there. Put it in. Okay. They're very determined, these kids. They don't like any help. While they're cracking the egg in there, I'm just going to go and check on our dough. Perfect. Almost. You've got a shell. Ah! Kill! 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 Okay. So what we, it basically is a thick custard, that's what we're doing. It's a thick So once I add this heated milk and sugar into here and vanilla essence, uh, we're going to put it back on the stove. You can stir it. Whisk it, whisk it, whisk, 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 whisk. Very good whiskers, very good whiskers. It's almost in, it's almost all in. 
There we go. Okay, you can. Now what we're going to do is add the one and a half cups of flour to the bowl. It's going to take about it's going to take about five to six, maybe seven minutes for it to actually completely all blend in. Periodically check it, and now we can go back to our pastry cream. So that's coming on good. Scrape, scrape all the flour and the butter and the sugar and the egg down again. Now, if there, are, if there is a little bit of curdling happening, that's okay, you can just strain it. We've made the uh, pastry cream. Uh, I'll put that in the fridge, that's going to chill for about an hour. So the dough's perfect. So, what we need now is a clean table and we need to get uh, some cling wrap. We're going to pop that into the, um, into, the, into the fridge for half an hour. Let that settle and cool and chill. And then we're going to work it into our pastry. We're going to flatten it out, knead it out, and we're going to put it into our into our baking tray. A pinch of salt. Pepper. Sprinkle it. And my favorite. Just gives a little bit of, you know, a bit of tang to it. Uh, a dash of white wine vinegar. That's enough. Or oh, maybe a little bit more. Why not? Let that cook for 25 minutes, and I'll check again. So it doesn't um, it doesn't burn on the bottom. But doesn't that look beautiful, man? Mm -hmm. Smell all that. Oh. My mouth is watering. <laughs> anyway, so while that's still going, it's probably got another, I'd say, 15, 20 minutes. Um, we're gonna do. We're gonna finish off our dessert into my tray. Egg yolk on, so that it gives it a seal. I'm gonna put it in the oven for probably about 30 seconds for it to dry. I've kneaded the um, dough into the, the pan. Uh, I'm gonna get the kids to help me prick it so that it doesn't um, raise here and there, puff up. So can you guys do this for Daddy? There, there, there. You too, Anthony. Pop this back into the fridge for about 10 minutes and then we'll place it into the oven. It's just about ready. I reckon it's probably got about another two minutes to go. So this is what I do. I add, I add the olives in. Uh, I reckon there's about a good 20, 20 olives in there. Add it in. A little bit of the olive juice. Place it. Oh. Beautiful, absolutely gorgeous. Doesn't need anything. Maybe just a little, a little thing that my mum taught me was um, add some basil to the dish. Just break it off. You don't need to chop it up. Doesn't need to be fine. Basil leaves gives it a bit, gives it a bit of colour as well. Um, some parsley. Again, you can, you know, it's up to you if you want to chop it finely, but I reckon. A couple of good sprigs of it, just like that. Give it a good mix. Oh, look, at that. look at that, Lily. That's what we're going to have for dinner tonight. That's yeah. chicken cacciatore. Wow, it looks yummy. The pastry's just come out of the oven. It's too hot for me to um, actually seal it with the egg whites, but that's my pastry um, base there. Uh, I'm going to let that sit. Paste. Oh, I will never get to remember this moment. Just perfect. What do you think, guys? Come on, guys, everybody. Yeah. yeah. There's our pastry. It's cooled down quite considerably. I've whisked one egg white. And Anthony. Lily, where are you? The kids are going to have a go. This is what I'm going to do. I'm going to whisk it. I'm going to paint the egg white in. It's great, great helpers, I tell you. Fantastic helpers. Okay, and just this little bit over here, Lily. Now, this egg white is basically sealing it so that when we put our um, cream in, it's not going to make the pastry go soggy, okay? I've, I've taken the um, custard out or the, the cream out of the, uh, of the fridge. You can, if you wanted to, you could put a bit more cream in there and, and give it another blend, but I think, that's, I think we've got enough. Um, we're going to pour it on. Whoopsies. Look at that. It's lovely, lovely, lovely. Now we put the You know, spend a bit more time making it really nice, but the kids 
really want to eat this now. They're really, and then it's bedtime for them, okay? There we go, look at that, yummy. Put some more strawberries in. Oh, doesn't that look so pretty? Uh, what is that? Yeah, Lily, you can have a go. What? Daddy will clean this up. Keep painting it on. And I think that's ready to go. Let's move out the way. Let's have one quick look at it. Who's hungry for dessert? Me! 